Now the whole spiritual endeavor, the eons of it, can at times feel somewhat overwhelming. So many paths, so many different ideas, so many different concepts and complexities. After 50 years of struggling with this complexity, a very simple truth has emerged. To be in harmony with the second now requires only two elements be blended into one, peace of mind and love. Silence and altruism are the key to unlocking the door to endless vistas. Many of you may have a meditation practice of your own, but some of you may not. So here I will offer a little meditation exercise to try, if you feel comfortable, to try it until you find a how or a path that suits you better. For inner silence to be real, we must get beyond our inner chatter. So to begin with, get a photograph of someone you love and set it aside for now. It can be anyone you shared or do now share a deep love with. Now, as you are listening to this, there are probably some sounds going on in the background. Traffic, cars, dogs barking, birds, aircraft. Try to listen to these sounds without naming them as things, just taking in the direct sound. I'll stop talking for a few moments. Now, listen, what do we hear? Please, let's be patient. What do we hear? Hopefully, we have begun to discover that the world is alive with interesting sounds that we are usually totally unaware of. There is a continuum of sound that is always present. Listening to this ambient sound can be a stepladder into this present moment. Now, let's listen again to see if we can hear a sound that is behind all these other sounds. Again, we're in no hurry. Deep silence has a sound. What's it like? Well, it's truly beyond words, but it's something like the sound we hear if we put a seashell next to our ear. So let's relax and listen one more time. So soft and patient that we could hear the flutter of a passing butterfly. True silence is the calling card of the second now. 
in stillness, we receive guidance. If we allow quiet to settle in, something begins to stir in the heart. Stillness is a bellows that can fan the flame of love itself. Now, still listening, pick up the photograph of your loved one. Really look at it and let your love ignite the warmth in your heart that you feel for this person. Let, let it ignite. Try not to drift off into futuristic thinking or past memories or anything like that. Try to look into their eyes and see them as the original beautiful beings that they are. See their freshness again, their originality, and let your love connect with them. So what we're doing is we're fusing together in this very moment, peace of mind and love. As if these two elements were put into a blender and have become one. This second now exercise can be tried anytime you feel the need for peace of mind. And the quiet can be directed at anything you truly love, your family, your friends, even the future of humanity. 